Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Exodus Borealis. I'm having a ton of fun in this game. I'm going to hit play. Let's get back to it. I think we're off to a decent start, but boy, we saw it with the last attack of demons here that came through the gate. There was a whole lot more of them. So our first several attacks were just one or two little spiders or monsters. But last time, I think we had like six or seven guys come through. Fortunately, our towers did hold them off. We've got, what's it look like? Eight right now, three more being constructed. And I think I've got, yeah, a few of these set to high priority, including the walls, not that wall. Let's make sure that's high priority. Just want to make sure we've got them pinned in to start doing some zigzagging. Now, who knows? I'm not sure. It may have been wise to just leave this section open and move all this down here. Um, so that we could continue the maze, like just coming straight out. What I think we're going to do is continue the maze out to about here and then start coming down in this direction and maybe snake in this way or something. So we'll see how it goes. But again, I, I'm thinking we're off to a decent start. Time will tell. I guess I can double speed it. We've got research selected. We're waiting right now. The big production goal is to get the mortar going. We need iron for that. And we are not for the mortar, but we need iron in order to upgrade our towers to the next level. So we've got our iron smelter building set up to high priority along with the towers. There goes the towers. I think I'm going to let this just be... I may, we've got one lower priority, normal priority tower here. I'm going to plunk down one more. Let's do it. Let's do a wall. And a, and a one more tower. And again, we may even replace these walls with more towers as we go. And let's do the small arrow tower. We can't build the second level ones yet. Okay. Research hat. Matter of fact, why don't we do two while we're at it? Another standard wall. And another tower. We'll leave these on normal priority for now. Until we get... We'll start prioritizing stuff once we get this uh, smelter built. We had our miner doing ore. How are we doing on stone? We still have 85 stone in the storage building here. Okay, we just got our first delivery of ore into inventory. Very cool. And we have a school being built here, but I just left this on normal priority. How are we doing on workers? <clears throat> We've got two workers, so we can staff somebody. Now this mortar mill is spinning, but there's nobody working in it yet, I don't believe. Yeah, mortar mason, nobody. Oh, two farmers, whoops. I didn't want two farmers this whole time. So that was a mistake. I put two farmers on in the spring to get everything planted. And then I accidentally left one of them there. But on the plus side, that gives us an extra general worker. Why don't we... Why don't we add another miner so that we're getting stone and... Um, and ore. So they should hop into this mine and start producing some stone. I think that makes sense. Charcoal. We've got a little bit of charcoal. We can add another one. Maybe once we get the uh, iron smelter going. And this, this normal priority uh, arrow tower is still being, you know, built. It's just going a little bit slower. Yeah, so I think we're grooving along here. Let's go ahead and pick another research. How about... Ooh, what's construction logistics? Research logistical planning for construction resource delivery. If citizens have extra carrying capacity, they will bring resources for additional construction. Let's do that one. That looks kind of interesting. Not related to schooling, but it doesn't require any new buildings, so I'll take it. And it's not so much the buildings that's the problem, it's the uh, getting people to be able to work in them. We have five farm plots. Food is at 91, 90. I 
think we're going to be okay. We've got crops to harvest, I think even in the winter, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. The sand fruit is planted in the spring and will be harvested in the winter. And we've got, there's one. We've got two farms that'll be harvested in the winter. We've got an itchy root that we get two crops out of that per year, I think. And then we've got this knee berry, which I believe is harvested in the fall, right? It's planted in spring with a fall harvest. So I'm going to mix the crops. Hopefully we'll be good on food. We may need to have two farmers permanently. I'm running double speed here. Okay, here we're in the fall. We got to wait for people to kind of wake up and get to work. We have four kids. I would like to get that school built. Uh, it's kind of a missed opportunity if you don't get these uh, kids educated. Because once they are, they get a production bonus for their entire life. Which I'm not sure how many years that is. Let's see. Our oldest citizen is six. But they start having kids pretty pretty early. So I'm not sure how long they actually live. We'll find out. Hey, there goes another arrow tower. That will help. That one's not quite as efficient because it's only going to be able to fire in one direction. Whereas I'm hoping that these towers can fire as they're coming out of the tunnel. But then also as they're, you know, working their way on the other side of this path here. And we may snake this up one more time and then maybe do something zigzaggy down here, like I mentioned. Our tree farms are doing okay. Okay, we're going to get an attack tonight. Oh, we'll see how many we get. I'm a little frustrated. Oh, we can't even finish the iron mine, the smelter, until we have mortar. Let's put someone in the mortar position. We've got two workers. Let's get a mortar mason going. I didn't realize that. That was my bad. It's not a big deal. We didn't lose any productivity. We still have plenty of buildings placed for our workers to build, including more of these towers. Again, I think we can get two more rows. So that attack will come tonight. Okay, we got some more pathing down. I'm going to just slowly add more. Apologize for the scrolling here. I'm going to add more paths just slowly over time. I don't want to kind of consume our builder tip no more tutorial tasks the last tutorial task has been completed tutorial tips will continue to be presented to offer some guidance at this point it's best to work towards growing the colony improving its efficiency and continuing to fortify the defenses working towards producing resources needed for more advanced towers is a good next goal we're doing that with the mortar and the iron uh, the ultimate objective for the island is to build the victory statue, which will require gathering an infernal power from the island's guardian demon. Building the statue breaks the curse, causing any ships nearby to crash into the island, allowing for the travel to further islands. Ooh, sounds kind of cool. All right, no more tutorials. We're on our own. And I have yet to fail in any game, so I'm not worried. All right, let's see here. We are going to be producing mortar, finally. That was my mistake. I should have had somebody on that sooner. Because we need that mortar in order to finish the smelter building. But again, everybody's staying productive. There's plenty of stuff to build and plenty of stuff for everybody to do. How are we doing on houses? It's harder to see during the daytime. But we always want to have one or two empty houses. That one looks empty. Oh, we can upgrade a nicer house. Hmm, provides better sleep, boosting their carrying capacity and work production. We're going to want to do this. Let's start with a house that has a bunch of people in it. These are just only have one person each. Do we have some families? This one, yeah, it's got two people. This one's got a bunch. Let's upgrade this one. Again, it's going to use up some of our mortar. But let's do it. And I'm going to... Um, hmm. I don't know if I should make that high priority. Kind of want to. I think I'm going to. Let's get that house upgraded. Oh, it's got a... Does it have a different look? It does. I think it does. Or is that just highlighted? No, it's got a different look. Cool. Yeah, again, that's going to make our workers more efficient. Oh, here they come. Spiders. 
Oh boy. Okay, we got them before they even got into this row, so I think we're okay. Those are fast. All right, there is our iron smelter. Do we have workers for this? We've only got one left. Oh, we need more people. There's two homes empty. I don't think we need to build new homes. We just need them to do their thing. Now, it said if we upgrade the homes, I think I, think I read that that increases the likelihood they're going to reproduce. Let's pick new research. I'm going to pause while we do this. Warm clothes. That's coming. All right. How about what else we got? Boost tower. That may not be a bad idea. Why don't we, let's see, approved aesthetics. Further reduces their well-being decay over time. I'm guessing that prolongs their life too. Longer life and a high, oh, here's the higher chance to have children. Let's do this. Let's get the healing hub building. Go back to double speed and let's see where we're at. We made it through that last attack. There's no attack imminent. Are we smelting yet? We, do we have, did we assign the smelter just now? No. Um, we may have to take back a miner. I'm going to take back one of the miners. And which one? How are we doing on stone? Oof, we don't have that much stone. And we don't have that much ore. So now we're getting stretched a little thin on workers. So we'll just see. I don't have any workers. Okay, here's a tip. Improving well-being. Some of the original founding citizens are getting older, aren't we all? Uh, those citizens with greater well-being will live longer and more productive lives. In addition, well-being also affects fertility rates, resulting in healthier communities growing at a quicker rate. And I just said it. Boy, they must have just heard me because I just said one of our big challenges right now is getting more people to man these buildings we're building. The life risha mushroom is a crop grown on a farm planted in the winter. These are used by healers to heal and improve well-being. Shoot, we're going to have to pop down another farm. And I think we're going to need another farmer or we're going to need to juggle resources every spring to make sure stuff gets planted. Healing hut is a building used by healers to improve well-being. Okay, up to three patients can be treated at a time before older citizens start dying. It would be beneficial to establish a healing hut and supply it with Liferesha. Note that a healing hut requires cloth, which is produced in a textile mill, and another crop needed fiber leaf. Wow. We need people. We need people to do all of this stuff. Let's see. Food is at 108. I'm going to plop down another crop. We really need two, if I'm honest. Uh, let's put down two. We'll, I don't even know if they'll be able to use these. But one's going to be the life Risha. Have we unlocked that? Not yet. This one, we can do the fiber leaf. We're going to need that for the clothing. All right. Oh, we need cloth to even upgrade the homes. We got to get the school built. Let's prioritize the school. We've had that sitting there for ages. It needs mortar. I'm going to put that on high. Our mortar maker is waiting on resources, I believe. It's got ore. It needs, oh, charcoal. So I've got charcoal in storage. Enemy coming. Hopefully we're doing okay. I don't know. Now I'm starting to get a little nervous as to how we're doing. This is going to need to loop around. So let's, let's do that. Let's plan for the, uh, for this thing to loop around here. So that means one there. Uh, we could probably do the large arrow towers now, right? Yeah, we've got mortar and we should be producing iron soon. I'm going to do large arrow tower, large arrow tower. Rotate. Oops, wrong way. This way. 
and then I'm going to put it in a section of wall. Right, and we're going to steer them out kind of where I'm going this way. They're going to come out this way and go up that way. Next, so let's do it. Here comes... Nope, that's research is done. That, I've got the wall there, and I need a little section of wall. I have the hardest time which way to spin here. Okay, there we go. Whoops. Oh, what's going on? Is it not letting me build it? Oh, I can't build it there. We have to. Yeah, that needs to stay open. So there's got to be a path out. They're going to come through here and then walk along this way. And again, we can change these walls out, pull them out and put more towers. All right, let's spin around here. We're at double speed. How are we doing? Is anybody doing mortar? Looks like the mortar building is working. Are we storing any? Nope. We have another gem that we found, looks like. Let's take a look. Let's pick another research. Beasts. Steel. Unlocks the smelter building. Now we have a smelter building. Warm clothing. Let's... Ooh, sublime well-being. The great... Yeah, let's do the well, sublime well-being. How's that? Okay, here comes our attack. Oops, let me spin it around so we can see our doom. Oh, no, we, we did it. We already won. I didn't even see it. Shoot. Looks like we made it through. Uh, I'm happy about that. But I missed it. I don't know if you guys caught it. I was looking elsewhere. It'd be kind of nice to know how far they got. But we are shoring up our defenses. And we've got two of the new towers at least planned for building. Let's see, did this house upgrade? It won't till it gets the cloth. Okay, our school is ready. Boy, is there anybody we can even put in the school? Job management. Let's, we're down to one miner. We've got a smelter. Hmm. I honestly don't know who we can take off. We could actually, why don't we take a researcher off? That could be a horrible idea. But let's do it. I think we're ahead of the game on the research. Let's see if we can't get our citizens educated and they'll be a little more productive for us. That may actually pay off more to our benefit than actually having the researcher. So we're in pretty good shape on the research tree, seems like to me. Here comes spring. I would love to add another farmer. We've got three general workers. Let's do it. Let's add another farmer. We're in spring. And let's add... What else do we need? We've got the teacher. We've got two workers. Our tree farms look good. How's our wood supply overall? Uh, 433 chop wood. That looks good. Food looks great. So we're doing pretty nicely. Let's take a look at the job management again. Builder, lumberjack, miner, coal burners. Let's do that. Let's get somebody working in the charcoal before we run out. We've only got 40 left. We've got 80 iron. So next is going to be the textiles. Let's get that going. And we'll put this stuff maybe over here. Looks like it'll take it there, so I'm going to plop that down. And I think I'm going to prioritize the tower. Okay, the gong roars. Let's get this going. Okay, we've got another house that got filled up. That's a good sign. Let's add another home. We can probably spread these out. Maybe we'll do some homes over this way. Just one for now. Trying to keep two on hand. And then I see that our path construction is done. I'm going to throw down a few more tiles of path to hopefully get these guys to move a little bit faster around what they're doing. Maybe even over here. Pop a few tiles down. Stone. We've got a good supply of stone still over here in this area. Eventually we may open this mine up. 
and uh, replenish our stone supply. We've actually got some food left in the boat. Probably doesn't taste very good, but it's there if we need it. And now let's prioritize one of these towers. And how are we doing on miners? Do we have two? No, we just have the one. Oh, we've only got one worker available, though. Our miner is doing ore. How are we doing on ore? Um, I'm looking. I don't see it. Are we using it up as fast as we're producing it? It could be. Stone is dangerously low. We need to pull somebody off of something. We've already pulled off our... Uh, let's see how the crops are doing. Maybe we can take that farmer off. They're still planting. Ooh. Oh, this one I wanted to be this life. Risha mushrooms. Oh, well, maybe next time. All right, here comes the attack. Maybe we can get a look at this. See how we do. Boy, it's getting bigger, huh? These guys aren't too bad to take out, but look at this. Oh, no. Okay, they're making it into the second row. Pretty sure about that. Oh. Not that great. We're working on it. All right, let's take a farmer off. Boom, and get another miner going. I think we have two mines operational. One for stone, one for ore. And we need this textile mill. I'm going to prioritize this as well. That's going to allow us to upgrade the homes. And hopefully, once we can get the homes upgraded, everybody will move a little faster. We don't have anybody doing research right now. So we're taking a little bit of a chance. Slowing down our progression on the tech tree in order to get more development going. Okay, charcoal, iron. We've got a decent amount of iron. I imagine that's somebody we could take off. We'll just see. Now, it makes sense maybe to upgrade one of these too, right? Oh, now I see the need for the gates. Because as we upgrade these... Our workers are having to walk all the way through the maze. So that now makes sense to me. All right, here we are in summer three. And when I talk about the gates, I'm talking about this right here in the research tree. We don't have anybody doing research right now. I suppose we could take off the iron miner because we've got a little bit of iron on hand. Let's do that for a little bit. Let's take out the smelter. Boom, and add the researcher. Boom. Just for a little bit. We'll get, we'll finish the sublime well-being. We'll get the gate researched. And then maybe we'll put them back on iron. But I do, I want to get this upgraded. Let's mark one of these. Upgrade to large tower. I'll leave that on lower priority. These guys I'll leave on high priority. Or this one on high priority, I guess. We've got, again, some path being laid down. Just doing a little bit at a time just because we don't have a lot of resources. Hopefully we're getting something out of the school. We've got someone in there teaching. So I don't know if, how to use this building. Okay, we've got an attack coming tonight. We will see if we've made the right decisions. I don't know. I honestly do not know. Food looks great. Uh, we've got the textile mill up. Now the school, I just have no idea. Oh, students. There we go. We've got four students learning. That's probably going to help us long term. That's an investment in the future. Uh, an attack is on its way. We do have one more house to be constructed. And I'm just trying to think of how can we free up a resource to do some textiles. Now they may not have anything to work with. Until this fiber leaf gets harvested. Let's take a look at our inventory. Yeah, we don't have any fiber leaf, so maybe that's not urgent. 
And the reason we want the textiles, one is for the warm clothing. I think they'll probably be a couple, is there a couple of recipes? Yeah, cloth or warm clothing. We need cloth to upgrade the homes. And then warm clothing helps the citizens, I guess, work longer hours in when we're in winter time. So the research is progressing. Again, we're just going to research a couple things and then we're going to pull that guy out of there. Iron is holding up pretty well. We got 98. And that is currently, there's no one working that building right now. How are we doing on charcoal? 68. Mortar. 10. All right, we got our first heavy duty tower. Let's, let's prioritize this one first. And then we'll upgrade this one next. And I don't know if it makes sense to do the upgrades first or just keep throwing down more towers. And we'll probably do a mix as we go and just experiment. But I don't know. Can these take a gem? Upgrade to small. Whoops. Upgrade to small arrow tower. That's not really an upgrade. Okay, here they come. These guys are making it. Oh, boy. This does not look good for us. Okay, we had two people make it through. Now they're going to tear out a building, I think. They have a predetermined target. Looks like it's a house. I can't do anything about it once they start going. Failing to defend. Failing to kill the invaders has resulted in the destruction of a building. Failing to properly defend the colony on occasion may result in the loss of life and structures. While this loss will result in a challenge... This can be overcome. Conversely, repeated failures may result in a colony decline that may be too much to recover from. This is a challenging strategy game with many mechanics to learn and master. It is highly likely you will not succeed in your first attempt. Don't be discouraged. Learn from your mistakes and try again. Well, we're still going. We lost. Let's pause for a second. Regroup here. Let's pick new research. I do want to keep the research going. So we've got that queued up. We'll do the gate and then we'll pull that guy off. What did we lose? Now I saw, oh my gosh, they took, did they take out our store? Heart? No, they didn't take out our storage house. What was that? The textile mill? Nope. I can't remember what was here. House? No, I think we only had three houses. Shoot, I'll have to go and replay the footage. I'm not sure what they actually took out. Thought it was a house. So we had the mine, the storage barn. We still have plenty of farms. Maybe it was a farm. I think we're okay. Let's take a look at our citizens. Yeah, we look okay here. And our school. I think we're okay. I don't think we lost. A, I'm not sure what we lost. There was two enemies. So I would assume they took out two buildings, but I don't see it. You guys may know. I can't remember. Let's go ahead and hit play and keep moving. So we're trying to get these towers upgraded. Let's, hmm. Let's just keep on keeping on. We've got this arrow tower prioritized. We can place another one. Guess we go with large. I don't know why you wouldn't. And let's get some wall, a little bit of wall down. Boom. And then here... Boom. And eventually we're going to need to put a path of those gates kind of coming through here so that as they upgrade, they've got a way to get through there without our workers have a way of getting through without having to snake through the maze. Okay. Here we are in the fall. How are we doing on workers? Whoops. We have one general worker. We've got two people working the mines. I'm happy about that. Stone is not great. Ore is okay. Iron looks good. We pulled somebody off the iron mine. They're doing research for us now. Or the smelter, I should say. 
Now, something happened over here, and I'm just not sure what it was. We do have some path here. It's possible they took up the stone path, but... We do have someone working in the school. We can't do cloth until we actually harvest the fiber leaf. Do we have any of that in storage yet? Nope. Food looks good. The other thing we could do is the kitchen. But again, we need people. We need more people. Okay, we've got one open house here. Okay, another attack. Our doom could be imminent. We'll see. Research is done. I'm going to pause. Pull our worker off of the research. And what do I want to put him on? The smelter, perhaps? Back to iron? We are in fall, so we don't need a farmer. I can't do a weaver because we don't have um, the fiber leaf harvested yet. Charcoal burner's fine. Let's do the smelter for now. And we can always change it. Let's go ahead and hit play. Again, research is at a stop right now. Okay, our tree farms look like they're doing pretty good. Hopefully that's enough. There's still some other trees on the island, so we might be okay. I'd love to get these houses upgraded. But again, we're waiting on this fiber leaf to be harvested. I don't know if that whole crop even got planted. It doesn't look like it. Probably short a farmer. We may need to shut down a field. Food looks pretty good. We've got more than we need. All of this is running. We're just now watching the towers, really. We've got one upgraded one. Or level two, I should say. I don't think these guys will take the... Um, I don't think they'll take the gems yet. We've only got a couple gems. I think we've got, what, a water gem, an ice gem, and then in this storage facility, if you look at the inventory in the bottom right, we've got a fire gem and a lightning gem. But again, I don't think these towers want to take the gems yet. Or we may need to unlock that in the tech tree. Let's take a look. Yeah, it could be that once we get to this level, we'll be able to do that. But right now, like I said, I've got everybody working. I don't have anybody researching. Is that a wise decision? I don't know. Trying to keep an eye on the inventory to see if we get a bunch of something we can take somebody off. Like the charcoal. We got a lot of charcoal right now. Let's mess with our job assignments. Take a charcoal burner off. And why don't we do... We're in the fall. Let's go research and pick another one. How about we do this uh, boost tower? Let's try one of those. Get that researched up. While we have a surplus of charcoal. Anything else we got a surplus of? Doesn't look like it to me. Even stone is low. I wonder how much these guys take. Ooh, man. Yeah, these arrow towers take a ton of stone. We may need a second stone mine. We have one way down here, but it's mostly for building purposes. And we still have 63 stone in inventory there. Basically need more people. We might want to prioritize that house. This one is still open, though. And this one, way over here that we're upgrading, looks like it still can hold the people so they don't get kicked out while it's being remodeled. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, there's our second arrow tower. Nothing I can do here, right? Nope. Thinking we'll get this built. We researched the gate already. Wonder if we should place one right here. Like that could come out. Uh, it's scary to do this, but we do have the gate wall, and I'm thinking that's going to go right there, but I got to wait for this to clear out. Let's do high priority. See if we can get that thing taken out and replaced quickly. We do have an attack coming. Maybe we'll cancel that destruction until, until the enemy comes through. Tonight, they're going to come through. 
Soon as that attack is done, we'll pull down this wall, put it on high priority, and try and replace it with the gate wall. And again, that will allow our builders to come through and upgrade things a little bit easier without having to snake around. We'll probably have to keep doing that. Uh, when we complete this row, maybe we'll probably have to do the same thing, put a gate here. And the gates allow them to kind of walk through when there's no enemies around. All right, what else can we do? I'm not sure. Here they come. Let's take a look. See how bad it's going to be. Hopefully they won't come through. We've got one extra arrow tower that we didn't have last time. But two people got through. Now the spiders, I don't think they take as many arrows, but each wave is supposed to be getting stronger and stronger. So we'll just have to uh, keep our fingers crossed so we can hold these guys off. Looks like we've got close to eight towers attacking. Now, these guys don't seem to be making it very far. The next thing I think I was thinking of doing is maybe taking this wall out and putting one of those boost towers in. Or maybe doing a boost tower right here so it's in range of a couple of these upgraded ones. So we're researching. I think that's what we're researching now, right? Is it the boost tower? Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Food, again, looks great. Stone's okay. Ore is not great. Textiles we cannot do yet. Did we get any? I don't see any of that. Did that not get harvested? Fiber leaf. Plant in the spring with a fall harvest. Could be that we don't have enough farmers to do everything we're thinking of doing. Might have too many fields here for a single farmer them to keep it up and running the whole year but hopefully we'll get another worker soon so i'm gonna leave it as it is at least we have the food oh what did i say i just said i was gonna do something i didn't do it let's pause let's take out this wall destroy it and then we'll click again and prioritize that. And we'll keep an eye on this. So I'll double speed it. And then as soon as that thing is taken out, everybody's... Uh, are they sleeping? They're about to go sleep, I think. Spacing out. Not sure when they go to bed. Maybe at 20? Yeah, they're starting to warm up and heading home for the night. So it'll probably be into the next season, which is going to be winter. We got plenty of food for winter. We don't have to worry about amping up our farmers to plant. Okay, here it comes. Let's see when that crop is harvested. It's supposed to be planted in the spring and harvested in the fall. But I don't think we got any fiber leaf yet. Bummer. All right, let's keep an eye on this little block of wall here because I want to get the gate up before the next wave of enemies comes because they've been getting through. <clears throat> All right, people are getting something to eat. And we got our warning that they're coming. Or no, that's just our, uh, let's pause. Our research got done. Let's take a look at the jobs. Tell you what, let me rotate here. <clears throat> and let's see if we want to reassign that person who's doing research. Take a look at the inventory we've got. We can see up here, actually, in the top right, we've got plenty of wood. So our, nothing to worry about there. We've got a single lumberjack. We could even take the lumberjack off if we wanted. That may be an option. That may be an opportunity to throw a farmer down in the spring. Maybe take the lumberjack down for the spring. Okay, stone looks okay. It's not great over here. We've only got four. So I don't want to take that miner off. And so we're going to leave that. Mortar is looking pretty good. Mortar could come down if we want. It says 100 here. Whoops. Let's see. It says 100 here. So I think he's got a bunch maybe laying outside waiting for people to pick it up. So that's a resource we could potentially leverage. Don't think there's much work to do on the farm. I guess they could harvest some stuff. 
This is the sand fruit, and it is harvested. Let's see. Yeah, it is harvested in the winter. Let's see. Let's see. What else could we have the mortar person do? Steel. What's it take for steel? Oh, we don't haven't unlocked that yet. Well, maybe we should. Yeah, maybe we'll keep the researcher on for the winter time. Uh, and just leave the, leave things as they are, right? We've got the researcher. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and hit play. No attacks imminent. And again, we wanted to keep an eye on this little section of wall. Let's pause. Looks like it's been removed. I don't know if we get any resources back, but let's put the gate wall down right here. And what does that take? Uh, let's hit play and see if it lets me highlight it. Um, I don't know. It doesn't show any resources. So we'll see. Uh, I want to make that high priority. Maybe there was the materials were just sitting there. Maybe from the destruction of the previous wall. I really don't know. All right, we're getting an arrow tower upgraded. That's a good sign. Maybe we alternate building and then upgrading. So let's prioritize this arrow tower to be built. Okay, this guy is hauling resources. All right, I think we're okay. All right, we're going to get another attack. That's going to be a common occurrence. In fact, I could almost turn that warning off now at this point, the pop-ups. I think that's going to be a pretty steady thing. Again, in spring, we're going to pull some people back to do some farming. But for now, we'll leave everybody doing what they're doing. And we'll keep an eye on more workers. Keep an eye out for more workers. Hey, our house got built. Um... We've got two extras. I'm going to plop down another house. We won't make it high priority. We'll just leave it medium. But we want to have room for more people. And then especially if the enemy gets through and takes out a couple of houses. They talked about, you know, your people will die if they don't have houses. Especially through the winter time. All right, we are in winter. Let's see what happens. We've got, let's double speed it. Okay, we are planting in winter. What is being planted in winter? Are our life shrub mushrooms planted in winter with a summer harvest? That is for the healing. We don't have the healing hut yet, but that gives our farmer something to do in every, every season to either do some planting or harvesting. I do think we're eventually going to need to have two farmers, but all year round, but not yet. All right, so let's pick the next tower for upgrading. How about this guy? Maybe we wait till after this attack. We get our little gate wall here, so that is cool. But yeah, maybe after this attack, we mark a tower for upgrading. I'm not sure if they work while they're being upgrading. I assume they are, right? Our people didn't get kicked out of the house, the one that's slated for upgrading on the house side. So maybe that's not a big deal. All right, research is done. Let's pause for a second. We could try and upgrade towers. We have the boost tower. The grand house, research construction for a grand house resulting in an even better sleep. Quality warm clothing. I think let's get this started. We don't have much left in winter. Let's get that started. And then uh, even if they don't finish by spring, we'll have the research at least partially done. And we can pop down another large tower. Not the boost tower. Well, we could try a boost tower. Let's do another large tower here. And then I was thinking, a boost tower, what does this look like? Oh, it doesn't boost many, does it? 
Maybe. Oh, man. Yeah, the boost towers make the most sense on the end here, right? Because they really help. Boy, the best would have been over here. Replacing that one with a boost tower. We could... What could we do? Whoops. Here they come. Let's just see what we get. If it's those demon guys, they take a lot of... Yeah, it is. They take a lot of arrows, man. So the last time these guys got through, we have a couple more arrow towers and we've upgraded one. Oh boy, it doesn't look good. It is going to be close. Wow. That was close. Let's pause. The attack is over. Let's think about what we want to do with our defense here, and then we'll wrap this episode up. I was looking at the boost tower, and you can see the area of effect. Now, if this was on the corner, this guy would be upgrading, I think, at least four and possibly six towers. But I'd have to throw away a tower we already have in order to do it. Or maybe I put it right here. Take out this wall and put a boost tower. Let's do that. We'll give that a try. And I think we can um, maybe use those gems in the boost tower. So let's destroy this building. Put that on high. We'll hit double speed. We'll keep an eye on this. And then we'll throw down the boost tower. Let's see. What does that take? We have all of those ingredients. Wood, stone. Ooh, 60 stone. We may need to get another stone miner down. So I'm going to keep an eye on this. I want to see this get torn out. Okay, here comes the guy through the gate. There he goes, tearing it down. I think he's leaving the resource there. Now, if we place the gate wall, I think that's right. Yep, boom. No, not the gate wall. What am I doing? Pause. Let's pause. We don't want the gate wall. Thinking about something else. Let's do the boost tower right there. Boom. Let's make that our high priority. Hit play. Okay, that switched over to high. And then we'll see how that guy works. That's our high priority item. And what else? We've got a couple open houses available for new people. We've been teaching our people. Now, I don't know if there's a way to see if they're educated or not, but we've been sending our kids to school. Hopefully we're getting a productivity boost out of that. Does it say education is low? So these two-year-olds, let's pause. Just curious if these, these kids got educated or not. Education looks like it's a little unhappy face. So maybe they didn't make it through. So nobody's educated. Hopefully that school is doing its job. I don't know how, how long they have to go before we get the benefit, but we've had one of our workers on that school. I think the entire time. Yeah. A teacher. But anyway, yeah, let's wrap this one up here. Again, this is Exodus Borealis. I enjoy having you here with me on this journey. We are just barely scratching by. Now we took, we had one raid that made it through, but there wasn't much damage done, at least not that I could tell. So we're holding our own. We're upgrading the maze and adding towers. We're going to try the boost tower. And we're just trying to manage our scant workforce and trying to give them upgrades as we go with education. And we're trying to get clothes going. We, oh, no. Yeah, we still have the textile mill. We just haven't staffed it yet. But yeah, pretty fun. I hope you're enjoying it. I sure am. And for now, this is Gladdercat signing off saying thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate you guys checking out this series. And I'll see you in the next episode.